On this motherboard, we have three types of video ports. VGA, DVI, and HDMI. V VGA is the earliest and it supports analog only video out. DVI comes on after. It supports digital video. And HDMI is the newest, sporting digital audio and video. Okay, on the monitor, we have VGA in, DVI in, and HDMI in. Again, this is this is the HDMI cable. This is for high definition video, and this goes into this slot right here. It was earlier pointed out. We will not be using that. Next is the VGA. You can match it up by the pins and the color on this. Push it in. Don't force it. It only fits in one way. Tighten the set screws to ensure connectivity. Last is the DVI cable. Again, you can match it up. It only fits in one way. Don't force it. This is the cable we will be using to connect our monitors. Press it in and again tighten the set screws. For your primary monitor, you're going to connect the DVI cord. Again, it goes in one way, pin on top. We'll plug into your CPU tower. Here's the VGA cord. This will be for your secondary monitor. And this will go into the VGA slot, one direction. Press it in and tighten the pins. To configure your uh, dual monitor setup, Right click the desktop and go to screen resolution. Uh, the de default mode is to have extended displays, which means you have two different desktop or screens going on to either one line if you open up. Another option is to mirror the displays, and the two displays have exactly the same image shown. You can make it go to only one desktop or two. And the other one you say show on desktop number two. When you're on extended mode, you change which one's your default monitor. You click on number two. And hit make this my main display and your taskbar moves over. What else was that? Oh, yeah. um, to control the orientation of your monitors, you click on the one or two and you can drag it to the other side. This makes it so if your second monitor was on the left side, you can make it so it goes that way. And if your monitor was on the right side, so you drag it back over, hit apply, and you can drag it back that way. Uh, having displays in portrait mode, you have to change your settings. You go to orientation and portrait, hit apply. Now we'll do it for one monitor. To change number one, click on number one and go to orientation portrait again. Hit apply. You control the orientation again. We're clicking on one or
number two in dragging. You have them to the left, right, or up and down. 